Should you take strontium for better bone health? There's something of a debate about strontium as a supplement for bone health. And today, we're going to look at the pros and cons of taking strontium, as well as what the deal is with strontium in general. Hi, I'm Sarah and I'm a certified nutritional health coach through the Institute for Integrative Nutrition. I'm also a BoneFit certified fitness instructor and a 500 hour trained yoga teacher with additional training that's specific to osteoporosis and yoga. So coming back to our topic for today, what is strontium? Strontium is an alkaline mineral that can be found on the periodic table. It's number 38, just below calcium. Outside of the world of bone health, strontium is best known for its salts, which give a bright red color to fireworks and flares. I'm a bit of a chemistry nerd. Once upon a time, I started out in college as a chemistry major. It's not what I ended up finishing in, but I still have a love of chemistry. Strontium naturally occurs in nature and can be found in the ocean and in our soil. Seafood is rich in strontium, but other foods that have small amounts of strontium include whole milk, wheat bran, meat and poultry, and root vegetables. Human beings do not produce strontium, but it is naturally found in our bodies. And what's naturally found in our bodies? 99% of strontium is found in our bones. It's important to point out that our bodies do not have much strontium. In total, our bodies have less than one ounce of strontium, which means that that 99% of strontium in our bodies that resides in our bones is still a really small amount. Strontium is similar to calcium and can in some ways mimic what calcium does for our bones. It incorporates itself easily into the lattice structure of our bones. Since strontium is below calcium on the periodic table, it's a heavier element. When a person takes strontium regularly as a supplement, the strontium will make our bones appear thicker than they actually are because it's a heavier element. This may give a false sense of safety with osteoporosis because bone density may appear better than it actually is in reality. This is not necessarily a bad thing. It's just something to be aware of if you happen to take a strontium supplement. Strontium has some positive benefits for bone health. It helps to stimulate our bone building cells, which helps us to build newer, stronger, higher quality bones. It also helps to slow down bone resorption or the breakdown of bone. These are pretty awesome benefits and they're worth considering. Whenever talking about strontium as a supplement, it's important to differentiate between different types of strontium. Strontium ronelate is the form of strontium that has been most scientifically studied. People who take strontium ronelate experience less risk of having fractures than their peers not taking strontium ronelate. There have been a number of undesirable side effects that can come from taking strontium ronelate, which include heart attacks and blood clots. This led to strontium being pulled from the European market in 2017. It's important to note that the United States has never approved the use of strontium ronelate as a treatment option for osteoporosis in the United States. What's interesting is that the increase in heart-related issues was attributed to the ronelate and not to the strontium itself. Further research was conducted in 2020 on the topic of strontium ronelate, and researchers found that there was not an increased risk for heart-related complications in patients compared to those that were taking a bisphosphonate medication. The same study also found that in patients who were taking strontium ronelate, there was a 25 to 30% increase in having a blood clot form deep inside a vein, usually in the lower half of the body. This research again shifted medical protocol and strontium ronelate is once again available for sale in the United Kingdom. In the description for this video, the studies that I mentioned are listed for you to look at yourself if you like. Strontium is also available in other forms as salts in the form of citrate, lactate, carbonate, and chloride, and it's used to treat osteoporosis. So the thing is that there's not much research about strontium in these other forms. 
No research has been done on humans in these other forms, but there is some research that has been performed on animals using these other forms. A study from 2013 with rats divided rats into groups with some rats given strontium ronolate and some rats given strontium citrate salt. The study found that after eight weeks, the rats who'd been given strontium citrate had a higher level of bone strontium than the group that had been given strontium ronolate. There's another study that was performed in 2010 with zebrafish and strontium citrate. That's interesting. So zebrafish skeletal bone has some similar properties to human bone. Strontium citrate was given to the zebrafish twice daily over a 12-week period. And at the end of the 12-week period, researchers found that total bone mineral density had increased. The spinal column of the zebrafish had also increased in bone mineral density. Trace amounts of strontium were also found to have been incorporated into the zebrafish's scales. In 2017, researchers examined whether strontium citrate could help bones heal, and they performed a study with rabbits. Researchers found that the rabbits who took strontium citrate had a shorter healing process and that new bone growth was stimulated. And looking at the small amount of research that's been done on strontium salts, it does look like there are some potential benefits for bone health in taking strontium citrate as a supplement. It's important to remember that no research has been done with regards to human beings and strontium citrate. As more research is performed, new insights may be found on whether or not strontium is helpful for treating osteoporosis. Currently, it appears that supplementing with strontium citrate in low doses is safe. If a person has chronic kidney disease, supplementing with strontium is not recommended. Too much strontium can cause problems. If growing children take too much strontium, it can distort the crystal structure of their bones. Because strontium is a heavier element than calcium, and that may lead to developing rickets. Taking the amount of strontium citrate recommended for osteoporosis does not appear to cause damage to the lattice structure of bones or to affect the overall strength of bones. So at this point, you may be wondering, what is the recommended dose to take of strontium citrate daily? So I could only find a recommended amount of 450 milligrams of strontium citrate to be taken daily. This amount actually came from a study that combined several supplements together to see increased bone density. So the study listed is in the description for this video and I encourage you to check it out. This amount of strontium was combined with taking vitamin K2, vitamin D, and melatonin. So if you'd like to learn more about this, please check it out in the description. Here are some things to think about when you're considering taking strontium citrate as a supplement. Since taking strontium can potentially result in DEXA scans that show that bones are thicker than they really are, the question to ask yourself is, are you okay with having a less accurate DEXA scan? Are you comfortable taking the supplement when there's little research on what happens when you stop taking the supplement? Are you comfortable taking something where the long-term health impacts are not well known? So while there are some possible benefits, the lack of good research means that there are still significant potential risks as well. Okay, so that's quite a bit of information about strontium, and I hope that you find it helpful in considering the pros and the cons of taking strontium. I would love to hear your thoughts on the subject and whether or not you would like to take strontium in the comments. So if you're interested in sharing, I am all ears and would love to hear. And then if you found this video helpful, please share it with someone that you know and love. And on that note, I look forward to talking with you soon.